today we are going to make a slow roasted Hasselback butternut squash and it's made with a trio of herbs, sage, rosemary and thyme. And this is a vegetarian dish that will look great on any table and we're going to get started with the compound butter. And these are the ingredients that you need. Make sure that the butter you are using is really soft, like it will make a dent when you put a finger in. And your herbs are your thyme, rosemary and some pink peppercorns. So you just want to roughly chop up the rosemary. You're just going to place it into a bowl. We're going to add in some thyme as well. As for the thyme, because it's already in small little leaves, you can just pluck it off the stem. So after the herbs, we're going to add in some pink peppercorns and also a pinch of salt. And then you're going to add your softened butter. So it should be so soft that you can just scoop with a spoon. So just scoop about 4 tablespoons and give it a good mix. So compound butters are really good for flavouring food and you can just make a big batch of this, roll it into a lot, put it in the fridge and whenever you want to use it, like put it on toast, put it on roast chicken, it will be really nice, like an added bonus. So next we'll be prepping our pumpkin. So for the butternut squash, it has a very signature bottom half that has seeds. You're gonna get those out and you just need half a pumpkin for this recipe. So you just want to peel off the skin and I'm using like a peeler to get it off. Once you have cleaned your pumpkin, you just want to get a baking sheet lined with baking paper and the pumpkin is going to undergo two roasting times and the first one we just want to roast it with a bit of olive oil all over so make sure you get all sides of the pumpkin and a good sprinkling of salt so this will go into the oven to roast for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees celsius Next, we're gonna work on the salsa verde and we're gonna add in the sage, some coriander leaf, lemon, some garlic and capers and also some olive oil. And we're gonna start off with the garlic paste. So we're just gonna mince some garlic out and make it into a paste with some salt. So to draw out the moisture from the garlic, you just have to add a bit of salt and just run your knife through it and then I'll use the flat side of the knife to press the garlic We have two herbs here, the sage and also some cilantro We're gonna chop it up and put it into the salsa We're gonna add some chopped up capers as well So we're going to add some lemon zest and we're going to add in some lemon juice as well. So you just want to season with a bit of cracked black pepper and a good glug of olive oil. About 2 tablespoons. Then you give it a good stir. Okay, so now we're going to make the Hasselback effect. So just get a knife. It should be soft enough after baking to make a slit about 3 quarters the way down. So try not to go all the way and just be careful about that. So just get a spatula. Your butter which is sitting at room temperature should be quite spreadable by now. And you just want to go over the pumpkin like this. Once you have covered the butternut squash with all the butter, you can just pop it back into the oven at 180 degrees celsius for another 15 minutes. So now we're gonna start with the brown butter sage and with the leftover butter, just add about a tablespoon to a pot. 
So what you want to do here is to melt the butter. Once it's completely melted, it will start to bubble and that's when you can add the sage and it will crispen up really nicely. And how to know it's done? It's gonna start smelling almost like caramel because the butter is browning and the sage is like crispening up really nicely. So to go with the pumpkin, we're gonna make some naan here. So we're gonna roll it into balls and cook it on a cast iron. So there we have it, the slow roasted Hasselback butternut squash and it smells absolutely amazing. You can smell all the different flavours from the crispy sage to the salsa verde and the pumpkin smells deliciously sweet. And I like to make my perfect bite by having some bread or naan because we have naan and I'll smear some ricotta which is really nice with pumpkin. And I'll just get myself a really good piece with a bit of the salsa verde and the crispy sage. And there you have it, the perfect bite. It tastes so amazing, it's like an explosion of flavours. You get the salty, sweet, savoury sour all in one mouth and it's just a really amazing vegetarian dish to have at any meal. So try it, make it, you won't regret it and tag us if you do.